deploy folks over time. Um, like the Fitzgeralds before, the upper level is going to be my family's home in the wintertime. We're building a ranch out in uh, Native's Ranch now and don't have a house yet. <laughs> Man, I'd have one for another year or two. So that's going to be our winter uh, getaway. Uh, then there's also at the main level, there's going to be a woodworking shop, metalworking shop that, uh, that we use in the process of constructing the ranch. And uh, we're actually building an agrarian village out in Major's Ranch. Um, our address out there is 550 Mountain View Drive. And um, we've been here now for about two and a half years working on a project for a friend and, uh, and a client that uh, is almost complete, has received its CFO. And now we're moving on to this agrarian village, which we're doing in common uh, with a group of people. And that group of people has also come together to purchase this building. We're also architects, interior designers, and permaculture designers. And we're going to be using, it's a two-building uh, structure. Uh, the one two-story part, the original part, is going to be used as an architectural office and also as a school for uh, natural building. And we're also going to be having a reskilling center there where we teach people old skills that we hope don't get lost and new skills that might enable people to function better in, um, in a world where we might not have access to the level of materialism and so forth uh, that we're accustomed to. Um, we came as a group from California and Ohio um, to live here, to retire here, and to make a difference here. And this is one more step. Uh, in that process. Uh, two of our group uh, started the Wahatoya Initiative a couple of years ago in, um, <clears throat> in La Vida, uh, which is a farm-to-table group. And although we're not directly affiliated, we're all in cooperation with each other. Another of our group is, uh, is involved in teaching yoga and meditation uh, in, in La Vida, and we'll also be doing that on the top floor of that building in time. Um, so, uh, what we'll, we plan to do is, is create an innovation center and a creative center. We're all artists and uh, at some level, whether it's uh, architecture or uh, graphic arts, the physical arts, sculpture, music, um, painting, all of this. Uh, and we'll be using that building for those purposes. Uh, and then with the woodworking facility, we eventually intend to come up with a line of, we don't know yet what, <laughs> we have a lot of ideas. <laughs> that might be something that we actually manufacture there. We have, and we'll have somewhere between 5,000 and 13,000 feet available in that building to do that. Uh, we just don't know what that looks like yet. Uh, but we're enthusiastic to be coming to uh, Walsenburg. We've been mostly oriented into the La Vida area uh, up until now, but we feel it's really important to include in our endeavors what, uh, I mean, this, this city, the, the uh, uh, town that's the, the county center and also I think a town that needs the kind of energy that we might help bring to, uh, to the county. So we're coming here with a great deal of enthusiasm and um, a vision um, that we've been working on for some time that we hope to continue to manifest here in Baltimore. And uh, we look forward to working with everybody here. We'll do that. Are you, are you looking at turning your, your entrances as they sit now and replacing them?